may by considering how differently owners and managers view the relationship between the owner, the manager's corporate office, and the hotel's general manager. The relationship envisions a weak relationship between the owner and the general manager. Hotel companies prefer the owner to work with the hotel company's corporate office to control the flow of information from the owner to the corporate office to the general manager. The owner, on the other hand, wants to diminish this relationship between the owner and the owner's and the manager's corporate office and instead wants to deal directly with the hotel general manager. For owners, the problem is the divide between operational and legal responsibility. Here you can see that the owner has virtually no operational responsibility. This resides with the hotel general manager and his corporate office. But the owner has all the legal liability. In other words, if bad things happen, the owner is responsible, not the management company. The owner generally indemnifies the hotel company from all liability except for fraud and gross negligence. This creates a classic owner's dilemma, one that has driven the emergence and maturity of the asset management discipline. The asset manager tries to create more alignment between the operational and legal responsibility by increasing the scope of the owner's operational involvement. Managers, of course, resist this activity, which they see as an intrusion and contrary to the language of the hotel management agreement, which generally envisions minimal owner involvement. For the asset manager, the challenge is to manage this conflict and to do so in such a way that the relationship between the owner and the manager serves the owner's interest. The HMA itself provides a blueprint for the relationship between owners and managers. As such, the asset manager seeks to use the agreement as a tactical lever to apply pressure to the managers. The asset manager needs to understand the subtle nature of the authority available via the HMA. The essence of every management agreement is the notion that the manager has the sole and exclusive right to manage the day-to-day -day operations of the hotel. It usually does not provide owners with a lot of power to push back against managers. Thus, the management agreement is the least obvious of the asset manager's tactical levers. Nevertheless, best practice calls for the asset manager to always use the influence that flows from the provisions of the agreement to influence the manager. As we shall see, the HMA generally gives owners influence over key operational and long-term decisions.